Welcome to Stacker News, issue number 10. What did you miss last week in YouTube web dev? In this video, I'll highlight my favorite videos from last week to help you decide which to watch, and maybe you'll discover some new videos and channels that you didn't know about. Be sure to watch to the end to check out the underrated video of the week that you need to watch. And if this video helps you out, help me out by liking and subscribing. All of the links to the videos mentioned will be in the description below. This is Stacker News. These are in no particular order. A lot of people, especially backend engineers, think that web development is easy. In this video, Clement talks about why front-end engineering is actually hard. Next up, Cody Engel disagrees with Forrest Knight, who recently made a video saying Stack Overflow is full of idiots. Cody gives us his opinion on Stack Overflow and shows us how to use Stack Overflow properly. If you missed my video from last week, I went over some great new updates to VS Code in version 1.54. In this video, Tammy talks about some languages you can learn if you want to get started learning to code. There is no best programming language for beginners, so in order to figure out which language to learn first, it's a good idea to think about what you want to achieve and then work backwards. Next, we have an introduction to Cloudflare workers and Cloudflare pages with Auto. If you're a fan of serverless technologies and Jamstack websites, you'll love these Cloudflare technologies. In this video, Otto will talk about Cloudflare's approach to serverless with Cloudflare workers and how they make Jamstack even easier with Cloudflare pages. In this next video, Anya Kubo shows us how to build a personal portfolio or website that looks great on mobile, tablet, and desktop. She does this using HTML, CSS, and just a little bit of JavaScript. And at the end, she'll show you how to deploy the site so that you can share it with your friends. Next up, Amy Dutton at Self Teach Me explores several different ways to create an SVG sprite and how to use it in your code. And next, Program with Eric shows us how to use TypeScript with Vue.js. He'll show you how to set it up, how to create types and interfaces, and how to convert from the Options API to the Composition API. Are you wasting your time with boring, tedious tasks? Stop wasting your time and automate them. In this video, James Q. Quick shows us how he automated part of his newsletter by using JavaScript, Cloudflare Workers, and Airtable. In this video, Tiffin Tech shares with us some of the reasons why she thinks most self-taught developers fail so that you can avoid some of these issues. And in this video from William Candian, he recreates the Apple Watch Breathe app animation in React Native with Reanimated 2. In this Learn with Jason episode, Jason talks with Jonathan Berger and they create some video animations using React with Remotion. Are you having a hard time with data structures and algorithms? Let Bree Hall show you some of the things you can do to make solving these problems a little easier. In this video, she'll show you the steps she takes to break down and solve problems using data structures and algorithms. Next up, CS Dojo makes a snake game in Python that works in the terminal, but there's a twist. In this version of the game, you're the food and the snake chases you. Don't get caught. I can't stress enough how cool the things Jay comes up with are. In this video, he shows us how to animate bendy lines using SVGs and GreenSock.js. Last week, I highlighted a video from Mayuko where she talked with Sarah from Levels.FYI about negotiating your tech salary. This week, they continue their conversation and they talk about answering the question, what are your salary expectations? Why shouldn't you give your number? And when to start talking numbers? Next up, we have an amazing crash course from Colby Fayok. He'll take you from design to development using Figma, Next.js, Storybook, and lots more. A good posture and working out as a developer is very important. In this video, DevEd shows us his ultimate programming workout. And next, Kodam goes over 10 amazing JavaScript pro tips. Do you know all of these? It's now time for the underrated video of the week. John Hayes at Coding Nuggets tells us the five things he wishes he knew when he started programming. Be sure to check out this video and subscribe to his channel. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.